Yeah. I hate nostalgia. I make him move in and they hit me on the telephone. They keep on hitting me like Richie, man, you better blow. She said I'm never home. I had to let her go. Now was it love or was it lust? I guess we'll never know. Even if my heart breaks, I pray I'm never broke. So if it ain't about the P, I never get involved. I need it about the destiny. Hello and welcome to episode 20 of the Forget Numbers Podcast. I'm your host Anthony here, joined by Xavier, Max, Divine, and probably Pedro later. Uh, I guess we'll start off with the NFL, then we'll move to footy. Uh, my first question for the NFL is, in your guys' opinion, who do you guys think won, has won free agency so far? Max, what's your opinion? Well, okay, we'll do biggest winners and losers of free agency so far. You I said think. me? You said Max. Oh, <laughs> I don't have an opinion on this. Do you have an opinion on Buffalo Bills? Second second best, your second team, eh? My second team. Anyways, Let's go Bills. Oh, X. Let's go Bills. I'll give it. I'll hand it. I'll swing it to you first, Dex. Um, I think Cleveland is the biggest winner so far. Uh, they got Odell, top five receiver. Could argue that he's the the best receiver when healthy. Um, they got a good defensive tackle. Who is it? Paul Richardson. Mm-hmm. They got. Um, who else did they sign? They got Kareem they got, Hunt. They got. They got the Vernon from the Giants. Oh, they got Olivier Vernon. So, yeah, they added a bunch of studs at different positions, offensive and defense, to just buff up their team. They had a good team last year. And plus, this is bigger, second year, more experience under his belt. Um, Nick Chubb's second year. Yeah, they're a good team. And then you're a loser? Biggest losers? Yeah. That doesn't matter, man. But the Giants are losers, (laughs) for sure. You think they're the biggest? Man. I think Pittsburgh's bigger. They traded Odell, bro. Yeah, but AB's better and they got less. Yeah, but Odell's younger. Odell's worth more right now. How much younger is Odell? Like uh, four years, three years? I think three. I think three, four years. Yeah. I think it's a bit more than that. I don't know. I don't know. I just think like Cle- Cleveland still like now it's it's gonna be like they're obviously way better, but it's gonna be tough because it's not like last year they're not sneaking up on anyone. Like yeah. everyone knows they're coming, and. Like, it all matters on their coach. Literally, too. not a single guy they got other than Cream Hunt knows how to win yet. None of those guys are winners yet. Like none of them have real playoff experience. I think Odell's been Odell's, once. Like they just got to learn how to win yeah. together. That's going to be a challenge because there's so many egos. But if it does work, they're going to be a problem. But yeah, they still got to learn how to win because even their coach is not a winner. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's going to be tough. And then, uh, so I guess like if I'm not going to pick Cleveland, I'll pick the Jets just because they got I think the two best players like that were available because they got the best. Best linebacker probably, and then I think CJ Mosley. You guys are guessing CJ Mosley way too much. Yeah, I don't. Know. People are guessing yeah, like not, why though? He's not that. Colin Coward trying player. to say he's an all star. Like, uh, were they not in the best defense? Was he not in the best defense? Okay, it doesn't mean he's, he's not one of the best defenses. And he like, but yeah, but that like, what? He's, he's, he's the best player on the best defense. What? Yes, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if they were the best defense, but who was better? Uh, I'd take the Rams defense over them. The Rams defense? Yeah, I would take the Rams defense. To relax with that. I would. Who can you name on that defense other than the line? Uh, and and uh, mm-hmm. Peters. I keep the lead. Barely played out the whole year, and he didn't do anything in the playoffs. I don't know. I'd rather. I'd personally rather have the Rams defense. But either way, they're still like for yeah. sure top three defense. And he was, and then you you make a good point because at the same time it's hard it's probably harder to shine on a good defense than yeah exactly yeah 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 on a, and like. And uh, like with Bell, like I think uh, you need that for like a second year quarterback when that slum comes. Like yeah. he didn't have a yeah. great first year. Like you need someone like Le'Veon, like a winner. So and their defense was already like I okay. Think Le'Veon himself just it gives you like three win. Up. It gives you three wins. Yeah. Literally getting a guy like that, you know. I don't know if running back gives you three. Bro, wins. when you have no, you don't understand. He's like he's more than a running. There back. was not a big loss of production with the what? Steelers. What are you look? They didn't make the well, playoffs. to the running game. They well, didn't make the playoffs. Okay, well, but yeah. that was that was all inside drama. If you look at the running game, the stats between and okay, look when Le'Veon, there was inside drama, they made the playoffs because they had Bell on the field. Yeah, and then there was inside drama, and then they didn't make the playoffs because he didn't play. No, it wasn't just because that it was because Antonio Brown's. That was a big. But that's also because d- didn't James Conner have like an extreme blowout year? Like nobody. Really um, and imagine that. if that didn't happen. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he carried. He carried. No drop in production. No, but realistically, if they had a legitimate second string running back who didn't just come out of nowhere and just blow up the whole second half of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah running backs, different. running backs, you find diamond. It would have been way different. That's all I'm gonna say is running backs, you find diamond doesn't. So, so wait, so you think they'll still win the division next year? I think you're bullshit. <laughs> Pittsburgh, like you still, you still think they're gonna be a good Don't, team? Don't why? Year? Why is everybody sweeping on Pittsburgh? They Who still they have? have. They have the best coach in the division, and they the have best our, coach in the. Div- what is that? Look at okay, 
And they have number one, number the one, quarterback in the number division. one. There's two coaches in that division that have been coaching a while, like Super Bowl champions. And they, no, tell me, go tell me those other two coaches. Wait, wait, wait. What's that division? Marvin Lewis. They don't. Who's, who's Cincinnati's division? coach? It's, huh? Cincinnati, it's Cleveland, Cleveland, Baltimore, and Pittsburgh. Okay. You have John Harbaugh and Tomlin, right? Yeah. What? Who's it? Freddie Kitchens? Yeah, for me right now, Freddie that's a, and then, uh, Pittsburgh's the third, the third best team in that division. Me coach. too, Xavier. But you're you looking say? at... I didn't hear him. He said that Pittsburgh is the third best team in that division. Okay, you can... Like, I don't know. You have the best... You have argu- but, but, you have the best coach in the division. Yes. You have arguably the best quarterback in the division. Well, you... But what did that guy do last year? What did Ben do last okay, year to prove why that you, to you? Why was, are you sleeping? A, and, and look at the weapons. Why are people shooting... Why are people acting like the Steelers are going to be 6-10 and team all of a sudden? They're not going to be six and ten because they they're probably, still going to be fighting for a playoff spot. Baker's better than Ben right now. Like in fact, I you, you, especially, you, you can't tell me, one year. especially you had one one year Baker. Yo, you can't especially tell me Juju does AB? that stuff. You can't tell me Juju does that stuff as a number one. You can't tell he me doesn't. that he doesn't. You're, you're not going to win with James Washington as your second receiver and and Connor back there. And he no one. He's not a surprise. Everyone knows what they are. They got like when you Ben is immobile. He's not the same guy. He's always been like a big dude, but. He's not that same quarterback anymore. All and, it'll, he, and it'll only get worse and worse every week. Exa- exactly. What, what are they going to do? We'll see. They have no pieces. They still they have a good pieces. O-line, but that's you it. You don't lose your best running back wide receiver. I think they're still going to be say, like... Say, say a lot of the people in the back, mm-hmm. man. Okay, but running backs, you find dime a dozen in this league. You can you can slot in a, a running back in the most teams oh, yeah? and go. C.J. Anderson, they oh, signed C.J. Anderson. He carried the Rams. Did he not carry the Rams? Carried, did the he the playoffs? carry the Rams? He helped the Rams no so much. He played, that was, he bro, played that good was a two week games. 16. That was a week, good offensive that was a that week 16 That just proves you can pick. slot anyone no, in. You can't do no, it for the whole year. No, you can't. You can't. You tell me, C.J. No, Anderson play, could have played the whole year and did that. No, no you he was, they he, slotted him. He came in he, with fresh legs. He came with a fresh legs. Yeah, like it's a surprise. It's just like Connor. It's just like he came the in Cleveland this legs. year was so like was so good in, when Baker came in because the Jets weren't expecting. It's it's a surprise. Nobody, when teams yeah, have time to plan. Exactly, for you, exactly. You seen how James different. Connor slowed down towards the end of the last year because teams finally figured Back. out what they were doing. He had four extreme breakout games and then he started to put up numbers like he people expect. When teams are planning for Pittsburgh, what are you planning? You're planning for. A B, Ben. Okay, now let's let Juju. You know we won't let him do this. Now it's just everything on him. Listen, man. All I'm saying is don't fu- don't put him in a bo- don't put the Where does Eric Weddle go? He went Rams. to uh, Rams. Yeah, they're crazy. Oof. I don't know how they have cash space. That's what I was Oof. saying. He's on the Weddle. He's on the Rams. They, they got rid of a few contracts. Oh my god. They got rid of the Sioux yeah, contract. Holy they literally gosh. traded. But they have, for they, they have to win like in the next Weddle. two years though. They have oh to, gosh. or they're done. I don't know. They have. No, I, they, have I had to. Th- I, have that, I have that. I that. Who else do they sign again? Matthews. Clay yeah, Matthews. Clay Matthews, Clay Matthews is nothing. Clay Matthews means he's nothing. not nothing. To me, he's, nothing he's on the not the same Clay Matthews as he was before. Why? He's a yeah, shell. He, he has a lot man, more help now. Man. He, he, people aren't only those, those focusing him. You know what I'm saying? Players like that's a veteran in your. Look how bad Green Bay was last year defensively. Yeah. Yeah. So he'll have people rushing from all sides. So he'll be like one on one. He was literally like on the one man. What thirty three? I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. He's not. He's not special. He's not Clay Matthews. But he's not. not I think he's he's better than. But he's better than what you're giving credit for him right now. No, I think he's better than what they had last year. At his position, and um, trust me, weakest it was little. They had to go get Fowler. Like they had to do all that. Try try and do all that stuff. No, because they're just doing. They're, they Depending the on the draft the and stuff, when you just look at just, just right now, I think uh, Pittsburgh's the third best team for sure. How just on third? Yeah, yeah the they're division. second. Second, they're third, better third. than Baltimore. Yes, they're better than Baltimore. I don't know what. You have a quarterback that can't throw football, man. And you have no. You have a quarterback who can't throw football. No receivers. If you still think Lamar can't, he can't throw. You tell me he can't throw. Mark Ingram makes their offense so much more dynamic. Bro, we haven't had a real running back in six years. Should I remind you about the playoff game? What play? What play because, bro, what it was his. Teams f- you talking about? The, the Ravens won. Okay, he had a Versus terrible. Th- the Chargers. Chargers, look at the team they're facing, right? Yeah. Like the complete opposite of what they are, the biggest trouble. They were only a wild card they figured, team. But they, okay. The team had more. They okay, literally, but Chargers they laid a team blueprint of how to stop Lamar Jackson. You put how? five safeties put, on the he field. He threw for 200 yards in the fourth quarter and ran for two That's touchdowns. That's garbage time. Garbage time. They om- what do you mean? Gar- it's a no playoff game. There's no garbage time unless you're up yes, 50. There's garbage they time. Won by, the they won by eight like points. Yes, it's not garbage time. That's garbage time. No. Yeah, Look, okay. Lamar first of all, you're acting like he didn't get a full offseason under his belt with NFL trainers. You can didn't even, he didn't start. You're acting like he started. I'm gonna he, say, second team reps with no case. with no running back. He did that with no running back. Now you have Mark Ingram. He did that with... Just go, I, I should make you put on the, the throw he made in Mark Andrews. You tell me that guy can't throw? Uh, Listen, why can't he? Why can't he throw? It's been I, one year. Also, it's also at the same Listen. time, at the same time, he he came in unexpectedly with uh, Joe Flacco's injury. They have more times to make plays and build the system around him. 
And now they're fully committed to him. We'll Bro, see the that's what I'm saying. Exactly. Yo, look what they did. He came in uh, week six. They were four and no, uh, yeah, they were like four and five when he came in. Look what they were able to do in half a season. Yeah, like they just playing, invent that they style of football. 1947 football, where you have a quarterback who just runs. And it didn't. It didn't work. When you, and then, did it, did and it, did the Chargers figured it, it out. Did they win the division? Yeah, the Chargers are also one and, of the best defensive and, in the. And now he can. And, and I could argue if they didn't play New England, they would have probably beat everyone. No, they won enough. And now that Why they not? don't only have their quarterback Kansas. running, it's even more lethal. They beat them in the se- in in they Kansas. Will, they will not be Kansas City. I'm gonna say I'll they, I'll they I'll, I'll bet you 15 bucks that Pittsburgh will 15 bucks. <laughs> finish higher than uh, no. Baltimore. Right now, I no. think Baltimore would be Kansas. <laughs> no Tyreek Hill and, and no Cream. Uh, you say Ty- Pittsburgh gonna Ty- Pitt, Pittsburgh no Tyreek Hill? He's, he's under investigation, but he hasn't been. No, they're done. They're, they're, they're it's not looking good right now. It's under investigation as long as nothing is. You think Pittsburgh's still gonna come second in that division? Yeah. First rounds, they could even come first. I don't know. You never know, man. It's an NFL, anyone could get injured at any time. But again, I think that's disrespectful. Probably you look at age, yeah. This guy went to what Bill's games, Mm -hmm. anyways. Uh, I guess for me, winner would be either Buffalo or uh, Cleveland. Buffalo. Yeah, I think we had a good free agency. I was, I'm really happy with our free agency. What? I the <laughs> honestly, I have no idea who you guys signed. So just like oh, Cole, Cole <laughs> Beasley wins you free agency. No, 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 Cole no, no. Beasley. I was, I was no, happy. No, we signed, we signed what we needed. We t- signed t- the tell me who you signed because like I actually don't know. But we signed Cole. We, so we signed we three signed receivers. We signed John Brown. Yeah. We signed Cole Beasley. Trash. Yeah. Trash. Uh, we signed the, the Jets uh, returner. He was a uh, Pro Bowler. Uh, we signed. I think you're talking about. We signed. So you signed. Two. We signed the best. We signed three backup, uh, three backup receivers. But keep those, going. Those are not backup they're not backup receivers. receivers. John, John Brown's. They're not backup receivers. Cole Beasley is arguably the best, the second best slot receiver. I think, but I think out of those three, you just named the only one that fits your, like the way Josh Allen plays is uh, John Brown. No, you'll see Cole Beasley. Cole Beasley will be the uh, receiver that the reliable receiver that Josh Allen needs. Uh, we signed uh, the tight end from uh, the Bengals. We don't really need a tight end because Uzama uh, or whatever. No, um, Eifert. Not actually no, the other no. one. So you signed the third string. So you signed the third okay, string. Yeah, no, yeah. he's a straight blocking tight end because Josh Allen doesn't throw to his tight ends. True. Uh, we signed arguably one the best center in free agency, the Chiefs sold center. Yeah, okay. Uh, we signed three guards. Uh, we signed we signed two tackles, and then there's rumors we might get uh, Ziggy Anza, which I'll be happy about. And then I'm trying to think of the defensive side. Then we find we signed a corner. Yeah. Plus, we got the draft coming up. I don't know where you have them being even in like the conversation for the winners of the free agency. Because they they signed the needs that they needed with just the they two, signed major needs. They, I think they need a lot, but I don't. There's like, a difference between winning free agency well, and yeah, splashing a major big money. Need, well, signing, well, well, uh, filling a major need would have been getting a B, not Cole. Who Beasley. was a major need? Receivers. Cole and Beasley and, and John didn't Brown. Sign any star receivers? You, like you don't need to sign star receivers to have a good offseason. You signed be, be, probably below average receivers. Those except were not for Cole Beasley. Those were not below average okay. receivers. Yo, what, you what signed, did John you Brown do last year? Receiver who's consistent. What did John Brown do last year? The thing is, what did John Josh Brown do with a, a squad or with a throwing quarterback? With Joe Flacco. What did John Brown do with Joe Flacco? In three weeks, he scored one touchdown a game. Right? Okay, but what did he do the year before? What did he do? Thirteen yards a game. Year before. Nothing. No, he didn't. He had he had a good. He did nothing. Uh, I'll bring up stats right now. <laughs> but I also want you to realize you're acting like Josh Allen has the best arm in the world. He doesn't. And, He's and not you wanna, that good. You want to have door. Cole Beasley in the in the slot He's position. Not consistent. Josh Allen isn't accurate short. So what is Cole exactly. Beasley gonna do? You want Cole exactly. Beasley running flies down the field? I can use the same excuse he did with Lamar. He had all his season to work on his throwing, and he has receivers to throw to. What do you mean? I'm just I'm doing what you did to me. He had a whole off season. But Lamar's, never, but Lamar's never been, never, they, they say he can't throw, it's not about throwing short with Lamar, they say he can't throw in, in general, which he's already proved that he can. Josh Allen, I've seen with my own eyes, is not accurate, short field. Cole Beasley doesn't fit that. John Brown does, sure, like run down the field, but Cole agree, Beasley does not fit. That. Cole Beasley does not fit that formula. That was a stupid ass sign. John Brown, 2018. Yeah, they guaranteed money. 42 receptions for 700 yards. Okay, which, and what team, was, what team was that, Arizona? No, that was Baltimore. Baltimore. Uh, like, you're talking this year? How many games? He faded out as soon as Joe Flacco got hurt. He Joe was, Flacco was a much better arm than Josh Allen. I don't know about that. I, I know yeah, about that. He does. Don't, don't, don't disrespect that. him. I don't know about that. Do you think Bills are going to make the playoffs? Uh, I think it could surprise a few people. I, I don't. Th- I, I wouldn't. If I were a betting man, I wouldn't bet on it, but I think it could surprise a few people. But as a, but as a fan? Do I right, right now? I have to see the draft. 
honestly, you're drafting. I Taylor. think I think their percentage of making the the playoffs is like thirty five percent. It's not thirty five percent. I think a lot of it's gonna depend on who they draft. They're gonna, I think they're gonna draft Taylor. It's just in. Yeah, I think if they can build like a nice lineman from Florida, if they so. can if they can build a nice O line. See, then, then you put everything on Josh if you're drafting that online. Yeah. You put everything. And you have that confidence to put everything in that guy. Hell yeah. For him to run. For From him what to, I saw. For him to have John Brown all the way open down the field. Now, nah, let me tuck this ball and run straight been, into yeah. the linebacker. You want that? Yeah. I'd, if it works. When Earl Thomas comes flying off the edge to come for this him this guy, season. Watch what okay, happens. That's okay, all I'm saying. Like, okay. He just does. He just. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I, I have. I hope that's a home opener. I really hope that's a home opener. I think. They should sign Metcalf with the eighth pick, and then from there draft O lineman. What do they have in like the top? The first. I think they should trade down. I want them to trade down. For what? Just get stockpile more picks. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just okay. Trade down to o line O linemen don't really go high, so you, you, you need get, a like, good two starter, late first, or three late huh? first rounders. I, I'd rather just. O-linemen. I'd rather have. We. I think we right now we have two second round picks. I rather, if I can get three second round picks. Another second round pick trade down to the twenties. I'd rather do that than overdraft for alignment. It's not overdrafting though. He's supposed to go that high, so it's like because he's that good. He's so athletic, and you can't say alignment are not worth it because look at Quentin Nelson last year. Okay, yeah, but that's, that's, that's Quentin. But there's also I can give you lots of uh, uh, things of bus of yeah, bus from yeah, but it goes both like well. give you both for not necessarily position. bus, but just like they're not on that talent level. Yeah, so like usually top ten alignment usually don't pan out. They're, they're not every alignment in the top ten is Quentin Nelson. Yeah, it's Most true. of the time, they're yeah, Eric Quentin, Fisher. Quentin Nelson's an animal. Yeah. You got something else. And then loser, I got to agree with X. It's probably the Giants. Well, yeah. Just, I don't know. You Yo, guys You guys are try you to... Are you guys actually going to trade Sterling Shepard? I don't know. It makes sense. They're going to complete rebuild. Fam, if you guys do, that would make the argument last week look even better. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like just, 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 uh, just to blow up your whole team because because of, of some loyalty to a quarterback that one you. But that shows his worth. The, the Patriots are, are supposedly offering a second round pick. Ooh. For Sterling Shepard, how many? I can name you every quarterback, every wide receiver that. I wouldn't last trade week more than a second round pick for any Bills first. receiver. Ooh. How many picks are there in the first round? Every quarterback they listed last week. Mike like Evans eight. would go for a first. Oh, Mike no, Evans would go for a first. Mike Evans would go no, for a first. Yes, he would. Mike Evans would go for a first. Seven. No, you would not. Odell what did AB go for? A second and a third? Third and a fifth. And you think Mike Evans is going for a no, first? No, that's different, though. Mike Evans I think is that's younger. different, though. Mm, AB, doesn't AB matter. A lot of he's, not even on he's not even close to that level with AB. Look, no. AB is a crazy contract, a drama and, queen. And, and yeah, that's what, I think that's what a lot of it was. And, and, he, and he's old. So uh, like, no, I think a lot of it was the drama thing. Like, third and a fifth was a bit ridiculous. Like, they got fleeced, so it's like... It's they, got, they got a better offer from Buffalo. Well, yeah, but you didn't want to go there. <laughs> he's a he's a bastard. But so you would you even want Buffalo to sign uh, get Metcalf with the eighth? No, I'd rather get out lineman. I don't know. I don't gas. I value lineman more than receivers. No, he's no. I I I I if I would you build a football team from the football out. I just I don't know. I, that guy has six packs on his packs. <laughs> if I'm Buffalo, I'd rather sign those linemen. And make sure that they're like we don't have a tra- uh, chance of like getting someone who's a bust. Yeah, but there's no there's no real line like every every Juwan good lineman Taylor. already got picked up. That's true. Do you think you'll ever see a home playoff game? But they, yeah. like you said, they signed I think within what, the next three years if th- Josh Allen guards? develops well. I Tom Brady needs think... to retire for that to happen. They no, signed three guards. You said three or four. We well, signed yeah, a bunch of right. linemen. I mean, that might point to them taking Metcalf. It might, but it might point to him taking a tackle. I would want them to take Metcalf, man. That guy's an animal. I, 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 I don't know. I think having like that, like true number one. Well, he'll be, yeah, he'll be the number one. He's a receiver. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But if you look at it, he's got anything you want. There's a lot of teams. Put put that guy safety. There's a lot of there's a lot of teams. There's a lot of teams that that yeah yeah. The Rams never had a true number one receiver. Patriots never had a true one number one receiver. Cooper Cup was a number one. I I. They had they had like, one A, one they had B. like three number ones. Yeah, there's no no team has a true number one receiver. If you look at it, most playoff teams didn't have a true number one receiver. Whoa, mm, come on, nah, calm down. Tyreek Hill is number one. Um, like it's the Patriots. That's their formula, though. Well, like they're famous and for that. And the Rams Patriots had a and and that's it. Chargers never had a number one receiver. Baltimore never had a number one receiver. Keenan Allen's not a number one. Yeah, he's in. Nah, I would have put the other guy. Mike so, Williams? No. No, nah, he's in number it, one. It's one A, one B. It, it, no no team has a true eight. number one receiver. All the, most of the playoffs teams didn't have a true number one receiver. I think they did. Yeah. Hopkins, Ty, uh, T.Y. Hilton. And look at the teams that 
made the Super Bowl. Yes, but that's that's it's a it's a that's the formula that the Rams literally tried to copy with three number ones and they lost. Well, but number, that's what I, I the value Rams number one got hurt. Cooper Cup, and then and the then Patriots it was like they had number never one. have a not, really number one. Well, they had Josh Gordon, but you know. Josh Gordon's not number one. Well, when he's healthy, he is. But yeah. Anyways, uh, move on to footy. Or anything else you want to talk about soccer, or nah, football before we move on to footy or no? No. Okay. Buffalo sucks. Huh? I'm undefeated at Bills games. This guy goes to one Bills game. He says he's undefeated. I'm going to stay undefeated this season, too. You better. You better. Anyways, um, I guess we'll go. We'll, we'll, talk, we'll talk Champions League. The The draws happened a few days ago. Uh, so the mat, the matchups we have are the first matchup. We'll go, we'll, go, we'll go from the first matchup, give our thoughts on each one. Give me, let me, give me my phone's freezing one sec. So the first matchup we have... Juve and Ajax. I assume everybody has everybody has Ajax on this. I'm not Ajax. Juve on this one. Uh, yeah, but you well, can't Juve, take who? them lightly. Ajax? I, I have Juve. I don't. Oh, I'm just okay. being a well, hater though. Like it's. I don't make care. Make a real wins. statement. Make a real state. My real statement will be: is Juve is gonna win, but it's gonna be tough, and they're not gonna. Ajax is gonna want it bad. Yeah, Juve. You just beat Madrid. I pick Juve, but you still can't take it lightly. Yeah. So you you have to respect it. what they did. Uh, Ajax. Yeah, yeah, but I think yeah. because of their performance in the first round, it'll make Juve like think that they're a lot better and play a lot better. They wouldn't take them lightly, you know what I'm saying? So if anything, that's going to be the reason that Juve beats them. It's going to be like 5-1 on aggregate. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. 5-1, 5-1, calling it right now. Like Juve really haven't played that well yet in this competition this year. Exactly. Mm-hmm. They're Besides due for a big game. game. Besides that game, this is going to be a big confidence booster going into the next round. Well, it's not confidence boosters when you're losing to Genoa <laughs> on the weekend. Man, Syria's done. Yeah, but yeah, but bro, still, yeah, still they're Syria's still playing. Done. They, they rested everyone though, man. They're still playing. But Juve, for yeah, Juve. Uh, next game, Barca Manu. You Barca. know what's actually crazy? I'm taking Manu in this one. I think Barca. Wait, where's the, where's the first game? Where's the first game? It's uh one second. Oh my god, my phone's a piece of shit. I think it's in I think it's in Old Trafford. If it's in Old Trafford, I have Manu Lu taking a loss. My phone's a piece of shit. <laughs> I think Barca's gonna win. This guy's back on his bullshit. <laughs> yeah, no, I th- I think I think Barca will win. Uh, man, Manu, I don't know. They've yeah, been... first game is in Man. Is an old yeah, lack, if Barca win that, lack, it's lack done. Well, yeah. well, you can't say that because they did beat PSG away from home. So, but they they still have a couple injury problems. That's what I'm saying. If the game was a bit later, but even they, if even just like two weeks or a week makes a difference. I I just think they haven't been playing as well lately. Who man you? Yeah, they lost. Yeah, they yeah. lost against Wolves. Like they just got completely outplayed. It wasn't like they. They lost to Arsenal, no. Uh yeah, it yeah, wasn't they like did. they dominated the whole game yeah. against Wolves. They they just got outplayed. Mm-hmm. And I think uh, I don't think uh, Ole Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's job is that secure really? for next I season. I think it is. I, I, think, I, think, after that, PSG, I think after the PSG, I think after the PSG game, it is. I think it's an option, but I don't think it's a number one option. Okay, what other options? Oh, be are better there? than though. There's other options. Because he's who? proved that he can win now, like kind of. Because their their season off, wasn't off complete despair. Head, what are the options? The, are they are want there? Pochettino. That, no, I don't think Posh will leave. I don't think he's gonna go either. But I'm just saying. I don't think. Po- I, I I think the only way Posh leaves. There's is no way he's gonna leave. There's league. no way he's gonna leave because uh, it's the new stadium. I think the only other manager Man U could have got was Zidane. But since Zidane's back to Madrid, I don't think it's gonna happen. Who knows what will happen with uh, Juve and Allegri? That could open up. Real shit, because I heard Pep's going to Juve. It's false claims, but who knows? Someone might slide into over to Juve. Sorry. Just kidding. <laughs> but uh, what was I saying? Okay, uh, his job. His, his job. I'm, I'm, t- I'm saying his job is not as secure as people are saying. There's, but there's not that many options out there. What are you going to decide? Proved, Eddie Howe? He he get, these players, get, get Eddie Howe? If, pro- if you prove you could. <laughs> if you prove that you can get those players to rally behind you, it, it matters. And like the head office is going to see that stuff. It's a part of it. But I'm just saying his job is not that secure, especially if he does not get top four. If he gets top four, I'll be like. Well, I think I think if he gets top four, they're gonna like slap. I'm saying ten billion on his table. No, I'm saying if he doesn't get top four, he's not secured at all because they're gonna get I, knocked I, out of the Champions League this round. I don't I don't agree because 
they what were what were they when like oh yeah the wheel no what because that means they're gonna be a better uh <laughs> if if Mourinho was still there what place were they eight seven this isn't about Mourinho what place were they it doesn't matter bro. he he brought them from there they had no chance in the Champions League their locker room was disaster. beat PSG. Paul Pogba didn't look like Paul Pogba. Lukaku like, wait, like cool. I think it's a, it's still okay. Like he wasn't there the whole season. You can't. You got to give the guy a season now. But also, this is like he's just coming in. You know, the, you, like other managers who have proven themselves over time. They bought the right players. They've gone through transfer windows. You this guy go. is just in like this honeymoon period right now, where like everything is going good. We knocked out PSG. They're gonna get slapped up by Barca. They're not gonna make top four. I think that who's gonna, gonna be Arsenal's, think, Arsenal's, think, Arsenal's gonna Arsenal's gonna him, beat them up for top four? Yeah. I think you gotta Arsenal give him Anton. I don't think so. I think you gotta give him one season, let him try to bring him his own players during the transfer window. See how it works out. But you can't aff- they, they can't afford to have another let's just give it one season anymore. They've been doing that for the Okay, past but what five else years. are you gonna do? You're gonna you're gonna well, they gave Mourinho three. And no, they but, they only had to kick him out because like they've been, Everyone give, stopped they've been giving like each manager money and saying like, okay, let's see where this goes, right? Sometimes that's what that's you gotta true. do when you don't have too many options at uh, coaches. Like, okay, like, I'll what, you're gonna what get Eddie Hell from Bournemouth? That's not gonna happen. You're gonna get Big Sam? No. Who else is out there? Thomas Tuchel maybe. Is Thomas Tuchel really an upgrade over Ole? Do you think w- if they give him money to spend this summer, do you think he's gonna really make a team that can uh, challenge for the titles, like a serious challenge? The, the only, what the only, only what change you, he's gonna get is Koulibaly. What do you get? What do you have to lose if you're Manu? They've been spending too much money over the years. They need to see production. They haven't seen no production, really. Okay, because that's some stupid buys. Like yeah. Alexis Sanchez. The hell are you going to do? What was the point of buying Alexis Sanchez? That was a stupid buy. They didn't even buy him, really. They traded for him. Okay, but McTarion would probably have a bigger impact on Manu right now than Alexis Sanchez. Eh. Probably not. I, I feel like he fits Sanchez Arsenal's rule a lot better. But I'm just saying, do not, do not already be giving him that job. He's not secured as you think. But I keep, tell, I, I keep asking you, who else is out there? And, and you're you keep, giving no answers. Like, there's no point saying, of taking I'm, anyone else I'm at this saying, point. There, if you see him next year and the they don't make top four, up. of course they're going to they're, they're gonna get someone else. Stuff opens up. Okay, what what's okay. PSG can open up. Tottenham, maybe. Who else? I'm just saying. Oh, PSG is definitely opening up. But saying, you're, like, you're not. No, 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 okay. I'm just saying it's Man United. Stuff opens up for them. I'm just saying that. Yo. But I keep telling you what's what what in your head can open up, and you're not saying you're just saying I'm just saying what can open up. What do you mean what can open up? I'm talking the man like there's other managers that want to go to Man United that want to upgrade. Like who? Give me names. You don't know who's gonna get fired. You don't know who's gonna want to. Just give me quit. names off top. I gave you names off the top of my head. Well, why would they? Why like they're not gonna? Okay, they're I'm not angry. They're okay. a manager. He might leave Juventus. Who knows what they do? Okay. Right. Think yeah. uh, uh, PSG's manager like they're not gonna take him. They just beat him. Like, you know what I mean? So that's just already out of the equation. A manager who we know is probably not going to be there at the end of the year. Why would you take the, the team that the guy you're wavering on, who your coach is, like Ole, beat him, like destroyed him in the second leg and they choked. Why would you take him? I'm just saying, you don't know what's going to open up. Who knows? Maybe Conte. Who the hell knows where Conte is? Look what days. happened last time. He's, bro, you, 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 I'm just saying Conte's, stuff will Conte's open Conte's up. supposed to go to the Italian national team. That's what I heard. No, Mancini is there. Oh, Mancini is? Yeah. Yeah. He's doing a good job. Maybe, maybe Rafa? From Newcastle, mm, he <laughs> likes Newcastle. Like I think he should stay there. I think he will, He's but I'm saying, but I'm saying, if man, you throw money at him, Rafa, maybe. Who knows? A lot of guys will not pass up on that opportunity. I think Rafa would. I'm just saying he's not as secure as you think. And I, I understand. No, I understand that. I'm just saying, as of right now, exactly. if I man you, there's no, there's no real upgrades. As of right now, they beat. Okay, let's be realistic. They're okay. They're obviously not winning EPL, so yeah. they're, they're playing for top four. Yep. They had a good chance in the FA Cup, right? Against Wolves. They yeah. got kicked out. They beat PSG, so credit for that. But let's be real, they're probably going to get knocked out by Barca. And if they don't get knocked out by Barca, they'll get knocked out by Liverpool. Probably. Right? Yeah. And they might not get top four. Let's oh, say they, they knock fi- out let's Barca. Say they get fifth. Let's if, say they get fifth. If they knock out Barca, that'll be humming. Let's say they get fifth. Yeah. Right? So you're so you, you Europa League. Europe, Europa League, which is not what they want. Yeah, I'm just saying he's not as secure as like it seems. I think, but I think if you're a man, you at this point, there's really no real upgrades. Could yeah, be, I feel like he is going to be secure. Could be a sour end because if you look, if you look like uh, what, what, what his point total is, isn't he? Isn't like, he? Isn't no. he first? 
No, now he's second. Or he's second. He's second since he's been in the league, right? You got to give him credit for stuff like that. Like, he took on a disaster. He took on a literal disaster. Giving him credit. This could have gone the opposite way. They could be seventh place behind Wolves right now. Like, it, it could have went that way. The players were unmotivated. Not I'm not saying it was an easy job, but I'm saying... Yeah, like, he... he Kind of got got, much they, worse. They, the people must see that they got to show him some respect. Unless it's Pep knocking mm-hmm. at my door, I'm not answering the phone. I'm not. I'm not opening the door. I'm not answering the phone. Okay. okay. Giving Pep credit, it's rare. Yeah, and he's, <laughs> unless because he's, he's the only one I could see. Like unless it's him, unless it's him, Poch. But I don't think that will happen. You don't well, open the door. Don't even. Poch is, the, Poch is the big one they're looking yeah. for. That's what my sources are telling me. But. His Instagram, his, his Abu Dhabi Instagram, Instagram posts uh, are telling him. Golasso Live is off Instagram. I, don't, I know, it's you disrespectful. Don't get resources anymore. I know. But uh, I'm just saying, don't well, be, they be kicked super him? secure. They kicked uh, Golasso. Yeah, Live. it's not a page oh, anymore. I just Next again, I haven't seen his post in time. So Barca, I'm saying Barca will beat Man U comfortably. Yeah, I think they'll beat him. If you watch Messi that last game, he's going to do that both games again. Thanks, Chef. Oh, my gosh. Way better than Ronaldo, my goodness. Next game. <laughs> uh, yeah, next game, wins. Tottenham City. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sad, but uh, City. I think it might be close, but probably City. You got I don't think it was like a Liverpool had like firepower last year. They had yeah. so much momentum. It was a semis. Yeah. Or no, it was a quarters. But they had you a never know of, what can happen. They had a lot of momentum. Like Spurs are in such a downward spot already. Yeah. Well, Man City. Not in Champions League. They no, did. but in the league, and they, it's like City knows them. It's not like you're going to face like a... Uh, a Barca or something where it's like mm, they they don't see us a lot. City, they know they have to play Spurs three times. I think it's in like twelve days or that, something. That that could fuck with your head. Both ways. I in know. The second game, I'm, in the second I know. Game I'm saying in the in the second Champions League game especially. I forget the order. Like search, search it up. It's probably it. Champions League. What do you mean? The, like the order of the games. Oh, it's oh, probably yeah, it's right probably right. Champions League League Champions League. No, I don't know. It might be, but if if they do the triple over them. Do you think that's I'll a, be amped. That's a beat, the, man. It's like last season yeah, when they did the double over Arsenal. It's Champions League. League and then Champions But they don't even game. have to beat them three times to... Exactly, yeah. Right? The league is a must-win game. Uh, but uh, who knows? They could blow them out in the first game, but also... You guys are at home for two of them, too, so... Yeah. So, right, as of right now, you guys still have the quadruple alive, right? Yeah, but I'm not... I'm not and no, it's Champions League, Champions League, League. And then... Um, I'm not going to be disappointed if we don't win quadruple. That's why I don't like... People keep saying... Uh, Oh, City still still are in, going for that quadruple. But, but you keep saying it. Like, as, a, as a joke. But <laughs> no, like, but you believe it. But like, I'm not going to be disappointed if we no. don't quadruple. No, obviously that's, not. It's hard to do. <laughs> like, okay, so at this point... Wait, wait. Let me bro, see you win Champions League. If you win, a, you win a treble, I'm putting my head through the wall. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. But, um... At the... Okay, go, go, go. Because people are, keep talking about, oh, treble, treble. They're yeah. still in it, right? But then if we don't win the treble, they're going to be like, oh, you didn't win the treble. Yeah. But, like... No, Who but knows? You, you just but, won the EPL. But if you, but if yeah. you win, if you win, or they're not the trouble, the quadruple. Yeah. If you didn't win yeah. the quadruple, that's what you were going for. Yeah, but if you still win a trouble, it's still, still win three trophies. trophies. You still, you win two. You I'm win excited. two. That's what I'm gonna say. You win two. Like I won two trophies, and I won the biggest EPL. If you win EPL, yeah. yeah at one. this point, Kane cannot complain with. At this point, what do you want more? EPL or Champions League? Yeah. EPL. Wow. Wow. If I had to pick which one, he's I spoiled. Wanted. That's why. No, he's spoiled. <laughs> spoiled. You, you are. <laughs> How? You, re- you would I really want EPL look. over Champions League. Yeah, if you ask City fans, most of them will say EPL as well. Wow. I'm telling you, that's that's what that's what the talk is, man. <laughs> I, don't, I think Champions League is like would no, no, but, cement those guys. Okay, man. for for other teams, yeah, but for Man City fans, mo- like majority, a big majority will say EPL. Uh, I think you I'm say the same you. thing for Liverpool Cause, fans Because the Cause that, that's, UEFA has done us dirty. Yeah. Well, did you hear what Salah said? So my dream is to win yeah. the Champions League, but for the fans, I'll focus yeah. on the EPL. Because that's they haven't won it so long. Like City, yeah. that's what I'm saying. He's spoiled. Like City been winning. Like give me a give me a little like European cor- glory. Of course, the players like say Aguero. Silva, He's gonna say they're, they're gonna say Champions League. Yeah, they obviously want to win yeah. the Champions League. Yeah, that, right. Like a, the last team Pep won Champions League with was Bayern. Barca, right? No, no, Barca, Barca. Yeah. Like for Silva, Champions League is the only trophy he hasn't won with us yet. That's what I'm saying. Those yeah, guys, right? those guys want and it. Like he's never won it before, so yeah. like he wants it. Oh, well, so has Aguero has never won it. Aguero's never won it. Like. A lot of those guys, and all those guys are young, yeah. right? So no. this is their first big club. You no, know, like Sané, oh. De Bruyne, those guys, like those guys, never. Like, won. Imagine if Sterling got a Champions League this year, right? I know, but I, I'm saying uh, City fans are not uh, completely in love with the Champions League because they've done us dirty over the years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, they have. I I, th- I have. think I think this could be an interesting matchup. I'm I'm looking forward to this matchup. They boo the UEFA song. And you told me when this. the players are. Guy, okay. Every time we bring up Champions League, this guy has to bring that up. But over two games, I'm gonna say City. They just have like more. Yeah, yeah, they have more fire. You never, you never know what can happen. They have more talent and more. I will say this: 
They're just a better look out team. For my, look out for my boy over these two games. not taking them lightly, though. I'm not taking This guy loves lightly. to take Tottenham lightly. Take... No, he loves it. He loves to, no, no, he loves to disrespect. He loves taking Arsenal lightly. No, he loves I to love disrespect Son. He loves to disrespect Kane all those guys. I'm just saying, watch out. Just hey, saying. Close. Are, are just most, saying what? Most of the guys are back from injury, no? Yes. Yeah. Very exciting. It's a very exciting time. That's all we I'm might, saying. We might get early early season uh, Tottenham form back. You put that sorry-ass right-back Aurier against Sané. Yeah, but that's sorry. Yes, he put stones against um, Son, and what's gonna happen? He's gonna annihilate him yeah, every time. Know, He's gonna annihilate him every you know, time. But your five games, like all back to back, are Tottenham, Man City, Man City, Crystal Palace, Man City, Tottenham, Man City, Tottenham, Man United, Man City. Yeah, we got big games. That's gonna be the that Tottenham Man United game is gonna define that's our season. That's real grind right there. It's gonna define Tottenham. our season. Like the Tottenham. Like the us versus Tottenham, man, 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 all our Tottenham games and our Man United Both the last games are Premier League games. Let's say let's say we just stay. Let's say you know what's gonna suck if you guys lose to Tottenham midweek and then tie Tottenham and lose to United and lose the EPL as well. That'd be lit. That'd be super lit. Would you call this season a bust if you guys win nothing? Well, yeah, we already won the one. No, no, no. You tell me you you lose everything at this point. Tell me right, right, right. That Carabao Cup is is a good season. Don't say that. Okay, no, we won. I want. And who who says they're gonna win it? Wolves are still in it. No, no, they won. Carabao Cup. Carabao Cup. Carabao. They already won it. I want the FA Cup. I want the FA Cup. Bro, this guy loves the Mickey Mouse. This guy loves the Mickey Mouse trophies. No, no. The way the players celebrate, I'll agree with him now. It's not a Mickey Mouse trophy. It's not a Mickey Mouse trophy. It has a lot of history to it. FA Cup final twice. Yeah, it's a Mickey Mouse trophy. It's not 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 a Mickey Mouse <laughs> no, you're telling me you win the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup, and that's a good season for you. Don't disrespect. Don't disrespect yourself yeah. for a team that. at for a ma- team at Man Holy City's shit. level. That's a good season. I gotta be humble because this is not. But hold up, but hold up. But if Liverpool goes on to win the league and the Champions League, this is that then a bust for you? Thing. No, 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 but no, it, it, is that a bust thing. for you? No, because this is no. If you lose both to Liverpool in the same week, is that a bust for Man City? It wouldn't be in the same week, but this is no Real Madrid Barca thing. I'm not gonna be like, yes, Liverpool uh, didn't win the Champions League. That's a right? that's a rivalry. For no, but it but it but it's a rivalry for this season. It's just and, two and, great teams going at it. Yeah, but there's a huge difference. Coaches, but what I'm trying teams. to say is that there's a huge difference Mediocre between coach, you just giving side. up the league in the Champions League and giving it up to like <laughs> someone that you've been competing with all year. That's true. Imagine if it was a uh, Man City Liverpool final. It'd be lit. That would be. It's probably other than fireworks. other than Juventus Barca would be the biggest one. No, Juve Barca would be the biggest one just because it would be the last time Ronaldo than, yeah, and other, Messi. Yeah, if you see the, if you say that, other than that, other, that's the biggest one. Like, it is. See, I'm it trying is. to see some eyes on them. I, I think Liverpool brings more eyes than Juventus. Yes, but it's no. Messi versus Ronaldo. All the is bandwagoners saying, with their yeah, Snapchat yeah. stories. It doesn't even matter about the bandwagoners. It's just being a football fan in general. It's the last game that they'll ever play. You know, how you see random people posting a Super Bowl on the story. If it was Barcelona, you yeah, have, oh you'd my have, gosh. I'd have people, team, all the team Messi versus team Ronaldo. Yeah, what would you rather watch? Snapchat footage? Uh, Barca Juve. Bar- Barca Juve. What the hell? Because you know my answer. Because we've never seen it. Because we've never seen it, and we get neutral. This might be the only chance we get in our life. Like it'd be too intense for me. But <laughs> as a neutral, I would rather watch Barca and City. I think they're just well, more exciting. I, I, that's an option. I mean, not Barca City. I oh, mean, uh, Barca Juve. Or City, no, I mean City, City Liverpool. Liverpool. As a neutral, City Liverpool be lit. As in, nah, like man. I'm not a neutral, but I know. But as a neutral, because you have if I was a neutral, I don't think I don't think you would. I, I, I get mean, what you mean. It would be a more exciting because game because it, it'd be fast paced. But, but, like, but, but play. just for the fact that it's the two greatest yeah, players true, of all true. time, of our generation, head, watching going head to head for the final time, it would be the best possible outcome. Like it'd be mo- emotional. It'd be just like these guys hate each other. I think like nah, they, they, they want to say they don't. Yo, they high they high key love each other just because they make each other better. <laughs> and it's been like that all all their lives. You know what I'm saying? Looking at too much soccer memes. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but it's true, yo. Moving on to the last game. Okay, go. Back, back to City. Oh my god, this guy loves bringing everything back to City. If we can stay first until that Spurs week, right? Yeah. And we get through that, like. What do you mean until that Spurs week, man? It's it's one game away. It's next week. You mean so if you win? No, this it's weekend? it's the international break. Like it's, it's April. It's three weeks. Oh, yeah. Next game is Fulham. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. it's Fulham, and then you go straight to Tottenham yeah, if we can, in the Champions League. If we stay first... You better not slip up on Fulham, bro. Yeah, you almost slipped up on Fulham. I know we almost slipped <laughs> up on Fulham. <laughs> I know we almost Yo, slipped up on Fulham. <laughs> but, but what if KDB picks up an injury playing for Belgium right now? He's not playing. Trent picked, picked, he's, he's picked, picked one back up from today. Me. Trent picked one up today? Yeah, I was back. Okay, you just... It's a withdraw, man. I know, I'm just saying. No big deal, man. We got KDB apparently coming back after the international break, and same with Fernandinho. Stones is ready. 
Mendy's coming back. Mendy, bro, the most overrated play, guy bro. on that team by far. Bro, he's oh. he's played at least he's, ten games maybe, in maybe, three years, maybe and he's won games. so many trophies, man. And this guy wants to go Mendy's best left back. There's no one better. Not defend, and he doesn't play not defensively, but the way he puts no. crosses in. No, better. check the assists. The guy had five I have assists. more. I have oh, more caps. Listen, I have listen, more listen. caps than Mendy in the last three years. Like Robert is the terrible. better off back than Mendy. Zinchenko, this guy's been balling out lately. Oh, like, the, the, shout out to Zinchenko. He's been okay, out. okay, yo, well. yo, what do you put Mendy on worldwide fullbacks? He will like he has he just hasn't been playing, so I can't make an argument. <laughs> no, but, but he, he wants to though. He wants. But to you're though. claiming Mendy's you're, coming you, back. Like, from you're what claiming from you're what claiming seen, that he's the best offensive wing back in the world, right? From what I've seen, I'm not talking the very small sample size that, that you've seen. seen sample size, right? This guy Mendy mercs Liverpool last season. You've seen vines of his highlights. This guy mercs Liverpool last season. Robertson does the same thing in the city, buddy. It's true, it's true, it's that true. one assist he got, and then no, Sané no, no. banged it off the post. I'll see you at the end of the season. <laughs> <laughs> Robertson's a better left I'm just back. saying, if we can, you didn't let me finish. If we can get past Tottenham and United, and we're we're first, we're in the next round. It's a big push to the end, and I think... Uh, Your whole season comes up in the next few weeks. Same with you. I know. There's more pressure Ooh, on you, though. actually choked it's like so hard. Back. It's actually ridiculous. And I don't want to hear, like, oh, it's better if they get knocked out. I'm talking for any team. It's better if they get knocked out. So then they can focus on EPL. Like, they want to just they want they rather play than practice. That's true. Yeah. Right. These guys don't want to. They want to win everything. We're gonna win everything. I think I think <laughs> matchup against Porto helps a lot though. Okay, obviously they could destroy them, and then second game of that doesn't even matter. But I don't think it's gonna be as easy as last year though. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. Definitely. No, 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 no. Oh, I, I'm still saying not. Liverpool's yeah. gonna go through. I'm just saying it's not gonna be as easy as last year. Definitely not. But like, I'm they're gonna go through like four two five two. They could destroy them in the first game, and then and second then game is meaningless. Put their B team in. Right. Yeah. Which would help a lot, yeah. Like, Porto's not going to get rolled over two years in a row like that. You never know. If they do, then, damn. They're the shock of this round. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I going to say? What's the last one? That was the last one. Oh, Porto-Liverpool. Yeah, Liverpool. I'll, I'm pretty sure everyone here has Liverpool. Talk about Europa League? We literally just yeah. talked about it. What in the Europa League? What game? Chelsea. Chelsea Liverpool, versus, Liverpool uh, should do the job. Were they End facing? We should do the job. And a story do the job, you know? I bet Klopp was so happy with that. He definitely slapped his chest a couple times. <laughs> He's just slapped Mo Salah on the back Yo, of the head. <laughs> who's winning between Chelsea and Slavia? Slavia. This guy's talking Europa League. I don't do Thursday soccer. I got home myself. I got home Anyways, myself. Anyways, um, uh, going on Liverpool. Mane's been stepping up recently. After I oh, talked shit about him from the Bayern game, the first Bayern leg, he stepped yeah, it up recently. I said he should work on his finishes too. And he did work on his finishes. He's player? Huh? You think he's your player of the year? Currently right now? No, no. No, Van Dijk is. I think he's the best player in form on the team right now. Uh, no, nah, I still put Van Dyke. Over, if, over he, if they win the league, I think you should get Player of the Year. Who? Van Dyke. Yeah, for yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. And but and then if they win, Agüero. Even if get it. even if City wins, he might still get it. Not even joking. Wow. Besides that mistake I, I, he made. At the no, 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 no. I, I think yeah, they'll finally get to that. They'll finally get to that. They'll finally get to Agüero if they win. Because it's too close. He he's keeping a minute. I'll give it to Sterling over both of them. My dream. My dream. Nah, man. You give it to Agüero. The thing is, you couldn't give it to Agüero just for the fact that what? Because they're so stacked. Yeah. If Aguero doesn't play, Sterling will. If Sterling doesn't play, Sané will. If if they, they don't play, Gabriel Jesus comes off the bench and he bangs. Van Dijk doesn't forward. play. Matip comes in, scores yeah. two goals. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, <laughs> like <laughs> if, <laughs> if Van Dijk if Van Dijk doesn't play, you may as well just put a tire on the field. Like, okay, he's got, got a point. He's got a good point. Okay, like maybe maybe Van Dijk means more to his team. Yeah, but it, it's just because City's so stacked. But, like, but that's what I'm saying. So so yeah. it, it looks better for Van Dijk is what I'm trying to say. But Aguero's Aguero. Man City would not be the same without him. I don't know. 100%. I, I feel like they wouldn't be the same, but they wouldn't be that much worse. Uh, I, I think you just put different guys there. Yeah. And it would work. But Aguero's Aguero. You know, you'd... That's what I'm saying. You can't replace it's, that guy. Like, you still wouldn't put, be the same. They, they wouldn't be putting up proper numbers. Puts, but but Matt, when Matip comes in, it's not Liverpool anymore. They're a 10th place team when that guy plays on when we get When we get Joe, Joe Gomez they're back. terrible. Ooh. Should we talk about that big FA Cup comeback? 3-2 Swansea. I got $10 no, in Slavia. <laughs> Um, <laughs> just Agüero stepped up. Yeah, he did. Came in the game. Mane stepped up. Some too. questionable calls people are talking about. What about the comeback? <laughs> Their first penalty was questionable too. I don't think anybody here watched the game, but I did. 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 <laughs> Their first penalty was questionable. It was. Who Swansea? I know yeah. Delph is a bonehead for making that tackle, but I questioned. <laughs> it, it was kind of an sometimes. Xavier tackle, but like I don't. I still don't think that it was a penalty. I was listening to a man. What do you mean by that? The other day. I mean, it was a bit reckless and it was unnecessary, but I still don't believe it was a foul. Oh, you're talking about Goku. 
Should we talk some? Uh, you want to talk some transfer rumors? I have a few transfer rumors. I, I love on. transfer rumors. Bring it on. Glossal is missing. There's Wait, no so, transfer rumors. Okay. Yeah. Go. Both the Man City left back issue. Yes. Oh my God! Shut about, up, man. Talk about that left back issue. Like, should we go with Zinchenko? Should we go with Delph? If we come up, if we came up against Juventus. And then we got to deal with Ronaldo. Honestly, I put Laporte at left back and I put Otamendi and Stones in the middle. Because Laporte at left back, when he's there, he's solid and he gets up. Yeah, but you realize Ronaldo's only playing left wing because Douglas Costa and Quadrado are both box, injured like, for the whole entire year, man. He's everywhere in the box, though, and Laporte gets up and Ronaldo's the best at getting up. So, Just Yeah, I know. He takes Viagra knows. before every game. He gets up with ease. Guy puts a gallon of gel in his hair. <laughs> This guy, this, guy, this guy said we stop Ronaldo. This guy said Ronaldo's a man rocket. What the you ready hell? for my? Uh... <laughs> what Saul to Man City? No, bro. One hundred five million. Are you but kidding me? How many me? times are they supposed to spend one hundred five million? And we end up spending fifty. We get steals out here. You don't think? But you think, ninety was the first bid. It was ninety. That's because you shop in the was clearance 90 section. Ninety was the man. first I bid. Need, I didn't hear about an official bid. Ninety and one hundred five today. Yo yo, didn't Start you, didn't you guys sign open. Lucas Hernandez for like seventy two million? It's not even open. Let's get yeah. FIFA. Okay, so. It. My first rumor. He's bringing Pavard. He's bringing Pavard. Insane. Just listen to these. My first rumor is Hazard to Madrid. Hazard came out this week. Hazard came out this week saying, uh, I'm going to focus on Europa League and then we'll see where it goes from there. He said he made his decision earlier in the season. Yeah. Which, what do you think is not saying? Who who were PSG targeting again? Uh, Mon. Oh, no. uh, Who the hell doesn't? Next rumor Dybala to uh, Liverpool. Fake news. Relax, fake, fake news. Fake, fake, third he's rumor, going anywhere he's going to City. The third rumor was... Uh, I've been he's going anywhere he's going to United. Was a, I've been scouting him. Uh, was a swap for Mane and Varane. What? Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. playing football manager on his iPhone. <laughs> Look, man, right here. The Guardian. Liverpool transfer rumors. Mane out, Varane in. Yeah. In where? Huh? What do you mean in where? Liverpool. <laughs> like, uh, why would he go? I yeah. don't know a back line with Varane and Van Dyke. Oh, that's that. That is a red. That's a walking red card. I love it though. That's an aggressive back. Line. I know a couple guys who could pierce through that back line. Oh, I know. Cool. Sterling, definitely Aguero not Aguero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Griezmann. Oh no, Barca oh, reopens. Oh, that that that's who it was. It was Griezmann to PSG. If PSG s- sells Neymar or Mbappe. I like it. Didn't a he just sign a huge contract? Well, I, I, I have oh, hear yeah, Barca. But, yeah, but think of it. A, 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 fr- a fl- yeah, only re- yeah, only release clause. Think of it, though. A French player going home to play in France. So what would they do with Cavani? Uh, Ray Charles. They, 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 they would run. Think Cavani's out the door. Any day. Both of them Milan, up top or three of them up uh, top. Milan's, Milan's coming to MLS just now. Give me EFC. F- put him beside out the door. <laughs> <laughs> scoring 60 goals <laughs> in a season. Uh, Milan's looking at Ray Charles. No, no. Staying, staying at Everton. They paid big money for him. They paid 50 mil for that guy. He's staying. 50? Yeah. yeah from Watford. Oh, like, okay. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, cause I watch Watford too, right? Mm-hmm. So then I like knew about this guy. And then I'm like, they got to keep him. But then 50 mil, you can't turn that yeah. down, right? Mm-hmm. He's yeah. been playing well too this season. Yes. Yeah. Everton are kind of underperforming as a team, but he's been good. Uh, Anto- Antonio Valencia's out. It's about time. Uh, and then there's rumors uh, Gunnarsson's really going after uh, Bale this summer. That's his plan if he gets uh, signed. Hmm. Bale back Bale's to England. Iron. Yeah, I feel and like. Then, oh wow, that'd be nice. And then United is convinced that they can sign Sancho from Dortmund. Bro, are you really uh, gonna pay that years. price though? It's so expensive. It's a lot of money for someone <laughs> you really don't know is gonna happen. That Sancho thing, I just. Out of all those, what do you? Th- out of all those, twenty million. You just can't see that happen. Out of all like, those, what do you think was the most realistic? Well, obviously, Dybala to hazard, Liverpool. Hazard. Okay, well, hazard, take out Hazard. Yeah. Dybala to Liverpool. Varane for Mane. Uh, Ray Charleston's to Milan. Um, what else did I say? A bunch of bullshit. <laughs> I think teams will be after Mane, but I don't think Liverpool will let him go. Yeah, and yeah, I don't it, think he. Wants I think. We, I think we. Can get, I think we have a chance at Dybala. No, I really man. think we have a chance at Dybala. You gotta stick to if Dybala goes to England, he's going to United. Dybala goes to England, he's going to City. I'm telling you, he's going to City. He's going to United for like 85 or 90 mil. I think he's going to go to Liverpool. Why would he go to Liverpool? That doesn't even seem like a guy Klopp would buy. Why? It just doesn't. He doesn't fit their play style at all. If you've ever watched Dybala play other than on FIFA, they should go for Fakir. They should go for Fakir. I think they'll reopen talks with Fakir, but I think Dybala is another good option. They're going to drop like... Bear on Fakir this summer. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, they're dropping a bag. He's having a good season, too. So, oh, yeah. if we get Fakir, it'll be nice. You guys think Neymar and Mbappe are leaving? No, nah, they both can't leave. It, it, no, 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 no. But both of them won't leave, but one of them will. I don't know about this season, but I want I want Neymar to leave. Yeah, I do, 
I don't Mbappe is still young. I think he'll be there. You got so much time, but I want Neymar to leave. Neymar and has. I feel like that's the worst mistake in his career. So what? Going to PSG. Such like, a waste. Depends he what he wants, though. He, he wasted two years. It's a waste to me. He wasted it. Oh, Barca's looking, Bars looking at that uh, yeah, but, oh, Serbian striker. Jovic? Yeah. yeah. And they, they, they're they getting the elite 68 million. They want him. Yeah, all these, they, they all they these guys it, from Ajax. That's ooh, crazy. They put in a bid. Like, they got Barca. De Jong already. Barca? Yeah, yeah, but they want the delete the center back as well. I know. There's, quote, unquote, Van Dijk's trying to convince him to go to Liverpool, but that's just bullshit. That's 100% bullshit. If he goes to Liverpool that's and crazy. they can pair up, that's crazy. That'd be crazy. Why not them in the middle? Dutch Dragons on their team. <laughs> okay. I haven't even seen this guy play yet, so let's just take it easy. He's good because you're too you busy play, watching. You can slap most. No, you're too busy watching Van Man Dyke. United destroy Schalke to watch real football. Man, you slap Clavin beside Van Dyke. Man, you slap. This guy's not helping Clavin. <laughs> <laughs> we slapped what? What's what's that idiot's name? Lovren, and that almost took us. That took us to Champions League final. Did you see how? A, a girl banged on him though. I'm not. I'm saying he's trash. Yeah, but no, no. <laughs> but Van Dyke, Lovren, also went to the World Cup final. All this Lovren talk. He's the best center back. Best center back in the world. He's the best center back in the world. Really have Maguire. Oh, that guy was going for Big ninety head. mil. That guy was going head. for ninety <laughs> mil two months ago. What is, what's happening now? Uh, ninety million. million. That was the price tag. Man, yeah. you want you want to. Give me, give me ninety million for this guy. And that's because Man United was in deep search of a center back. It, it's kind of like Chelsea with a goalkeeper. Hype. It's that World Cup hype. Too. But but about the Bale one, to Bayern. Uh, no, I Bale think, to Man United. I think it's more likely for him to go back to England. I feel like it's more likely to, for him to go to Tottenham just for Madrid to sign Harry Kane. I knew you were gonna say that, and I I don't think Kane is ever going to Madrid. And trust me, because listen, if we can get a lethal striker like that paired up with Neymar. We can have Neymar, Hazard, and Kane up top. <laughs> yeah. Get the fuck uh, out of here. They gave God. Zidane 300 million. Are you crazy? Yeah. Okay. You need more than that. You need more than that to get those three. Yeah. Not if you're giving away Bale. You pretty much get Kane for what? 50 mil? No, no, no. No. You That's think Kane's 50 mil? mil? It's 100 mil plus Bale. That's 100 bail mil plus Bale. Bale plus 50 mil equals Kane. Yes. Whoa. No, no, no. What did you say? 100 mil plus Bale? <laughs> <That's> 100, <laughs> I'm, crazy. I'm being honest. I'm being honest. That's 100 mil plus Bale. As Are you actually insane? Well, the guy wants to put respect on his name now, but all these, all this time, uh, he's, just relax, relax. I don't know yet. That's a hundred mil plus bail. He's the best, like for his age. How much should the best strike? How much should Mbappe go for? What two? He's valued at two hundred mil, but, but it was like a hundred, right? He he went for a hundred, and his release clause is like one hundred and eighty. Like he's gonna stay put this year, Mbappe. He's not going. Yeah, no, anywhere. not yet, not yet, not yet. What is he? He's twenty now, right? Let PSG yeah. lose in Champions League a couple more seasons. <laughs> They'll get pissed off. No, no. I, I think if they sell anyone, it's going to be Neymar. Just because if they do go for someone to replace him, they would get Griezmann, and it would be the French connection up top. And that's how they, they would sell just, it in France. They need to start keep buying French guys. They need to relax on this international stuff. Go what get Brent. Like, but you're getting... No, but it, it creates they, nationalism, and it, it creates yeah. chemistry as well. Those so guys play together. Fine. They've proven they can win against good competition. Get, get Griezmann. Why not? What is Neymar doing for you? He's wasting his time. You're wasting... You're wasting, like... I don't know. I, I think... Uh, I feel like if they sold Neymar, they could pick up Griezmann and then sell, uh, like, Verratti and... You guys um, are washed And up. Rabiot or whatever. Who? Verratti. And then pick up Pogba. Rabiot's they, they, gone. They, yeah, they can't yeah. sell Rabiot. I'm, I'm telling you, like, watch out for Rabiot to City. It might, no, he, he's actually nice. It man. might be uh, might be happening. This guy just saying everybody in the city. He might be no, Golasso no. live. That's why they're not posting anymore. <laughs> <No. laughs> you, you want, might, you want to talk to me about my transfer targets? Yeah, you're talking. Oh, you're over there talking about Dybala to Liverpool, man. What, what are yours? What are yours? I want to hear this. I want to hear this blast. Say it. What? This is FIFA. This is in FIFA 14 where you could trade. What? What are your transfer rumors other than Saul? Because that's happening. Like, who do I? Who am I targeting? Yeah. What do you think is likely to happen? So we'll, like, but they're gonna get him. Like he's more of an attacking guy. We need more of a defensive. That's why Rabio. Rabio, Rabio, Rabio would signing? fit more. I like Rabio. You're not gonna be happy with that signing? I'll be happy, but like, is For he really gonna, like? We have Bernardo and De Bruyne, right? Bernardo, Bernardo can literally play anyone on the field. Spot eventually. Saul so is just gonna be like a uh, taking Bernardo's spot, but like Bernardo's gonna be sliding into Silva's spot eventually. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the left back. We got to see what Mendy is doing. You guys are going to sign Saul and start playing him at left back. We might. <laughs> but for left backs, uh, Chilwell. That's what you want? Ben Chilwell? You're done, you're done with Mendy already? I'm not done with Mendy. You're done with Mendy already? He's the saying, best left back in the world? If it happens another year, we got to start, we got to start looking. You want Chilwell? 
Yeah. You think you, know, you think like he's he'll he's here to stay? I like his intention. I feel like Mendy's. I feel like Mendy's starting to take it as a joke. No, no. Pep told him like he showed up three hours late for for training. This guy almost slapped him. Nah, he's man. Like, what oh. are you doing, man? I, I feel like this summer they, they should go for someone young just to show Mendy like yo like if you don't start coming we'll, we'll, we'll be expensive though. Lester, that's what I'm Lester, saying. Lester loves to tell you guys slap forty million on that guy. Yo, nah, you, you know who you guys man. you guys should get? Slap forty million. You should get the other Mendy from Olympic uh, Leones. We can't have two Mendys. No, you can't. He's too expensive. <laughs> I'm having a brain fart right now, but who's your right back? Kyle Walker. Yeah, okay. We got we got right back secured with Walker and Danilo. Yeah. Walker can De- be questionable Danilo's a good sometimes. Son. Cannot pass to save his life. He can be questionable I've sometimes. I've never seen such a good passing team him, with one, one uh, handicap. This is a bundle I, of pace right there. Him. That's a bundle of pace. He's so funny, though. He can send long balls, but he can't make short passes. Short passes. It doesn't make sense. You already said thing, uh, thing Ederson's going to finish for more assists than him this year. I actually wouldn't doubt it. Ederson's one of the best passing yeah. goalkeepers of all time. He's going to finish for more assists than him this yeah, year. Yeah, but he's been kind of playing a bit different from the last year, too. He wasn't going so much forward. He's more in like the, the middle. Yeah, good. He good needs passes. to stay back there. Him and, Kurt, him and Sterling can have that nice connection with the passing. I'm telling you. Oh my God. <laughs> this, guy, yeah, this guy loves his team yeah. too much. Trust me, that's how I feel with Cancelo and Bernardo on the right wing oh from Portugal. I watch it, I'm saying watch out for Portugal in the upcoming Euro again. No. You got to watch out for them. This guy is... <laughs> on God, on the come up. I'm, I'm being dead serious too. In the next year, you got to watch out for them. You can't just the write year? them off. The nah, two years. Oh, Th- this year is a qualification, then next mm-hmm. summer is... Uh, I'm just saying for 2020 year, you can't just write them off. On God. I don't write anyone off, ever. You raise some teams Except off. Except Bosnia, I love, I love the Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> watch out for who else this year? Oh, uh, Netherlands. Watch uh, out. Yeah, no, watch out for them too. They're gonna be hold up, hold young up, talent coming up. Memphis? Yo, do you guys, do you guys want to talk about Euro qualification? The pie, sure. International talk. The pie, all uh-huh. the De Jong's? Well, it is international break. You know, we gotta, we gotta start talking about it. <laughs> all somehow. the De Jong's on that, that team. That, that redheaded bastard. Who's their keeper? Who's their keeper? I don't know. Uh, I think it's backup. Barsh's backup. Clinton. Sillison. So no, so Vorm. Is it Vorm? No, yeah. it's not Vorm. I'm pretty Vorm. sure. I think pretty sure. All right, so this guy's in y'all want to hear the groups? <laughs> <laughs> so we'll go in order, I guess. Group A is Bulgaria, Czech Republic, England, Kosovo, and Montenegro. Oh, Montenegro is taking I think that Co- group. Kosovo has it locked. <laughs> I agree, baby. Well, England is gonna smash every single team every game in that in that group. And then the English feather gas. Yeah, All right, it's, it's, it's coming, coming home. <laughs> so that one was easy. Uh, group B. Be Colombian there. Li- not Lithuania. Get a little excited. Lithuania, Luxembourg, Portugal, Serbia, Ukraine. Portugal, Serbia again. Not that group. Yeah. yeah, Portugal. Yeah. This guy sweeping on Yarmolenko. All right. Uh, uh, I do not C. respect that. I do not oh, respect group, those players. He's actually kind of juicy, kind of. Belarus, that. Estonia, Germany, Netherlands, Northern Ireland. And Netherlands it's probably gonna get out, even though. It's sad to say. No, it's first and second go through. Okay, Germany, Netherlands. Yes, yeah. nice. Uh, Denmark, Georgia, Gibraltar, Ireland, and Switzerland. Denmark. To me, that's the most evenly matched group. Yeah. Switzerland and Denmark. Just because it doesn't have one, yeah. one. To be honest, I don't think team. I don't think like bring Denmark over Switzerland. I don't think yeah. yeah Denmark, just, I was just teams. naming two. I, yeah. I didn't put them. In order. No, I I, 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 think, uh, I think Switzerland over Denmark. To be honest, I don't think FIFA rates those Albanians on that team right now for what they did in the World Cup. I'm not even joking. So we'll see what happens in those games. They might have no state, no they fans in their stadium for every home game. That guy has uh, not played since this. this actually, yo, this this group's kind of juicy as well. Azerbaijan, Croatia, Hungary, Slovakia, Wales. Wales and Croatia. Sure. I don't know, man. Slovakia, it's not a team to sleep on. We got Hampshire. That's it. No, guys, I don't know any Chinese of that. Chinese league, no. I know. So what? You still just have balling, balling. Ball this though. is like your qualification is just. What's oh, this cr- is the best group so far, though. Like, Faroe Islands, got, Malta, you... Norway, Romania, Spain, Sweden. You know oh what's gonna gosh, happen, but you got it. Slovenia not qualify. Huh? Slovenia is probably. Oh, next Slovenia's year. group is next. Oh, blessed. Austria. Go for the qualifier. <laughs> Yo, you, you guys have six six uh, teams in your group, though. Okay. Austria, Israel, Latvia, North Macedonia, Poland, and Slovenia. Yo, if your team Slovenia, Poland. If your team does not make that, if your team We're does not make that boys. group, I have no respect for it. Any of yeah, but it might be second team does a playoff it, and then you're out. We yeah, got, we got the best. We have arguably no, 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 no. Second second team gets qualified, and as then well. like the two of the third best, no, four third best teams. Uh, get to I'll play. read it to you right now. Um, we have arguably the best goalkeeper in the world. In the event I can that argue that oh, heavily, heavily, heavily. No, heavily. I can no, no third, he's no third place will. He's up there, but he's not the best. Who else? No third place will go through. Allison, maybe. No, <laughs> no. But yo, in all honesty, really, like, I, I, I see much better. Rui really Patricio, maybe. maybe? Yeah, yeah, yo, much better. I, I, I see, I see Slovenia coming in third in that group. We got, we got yeah. some young guys coming. We got some young guys coming. Better than Oblak? Maybe, but maybe, maybe. Don't think we get into this Allison Anderson debate. 
what, Allison. You think Ederson's way better? Yes. Jesus Christ. And the Allison, rest of the group, yo, I, I, I still don't think Germany's going to be. He's a nightmare I mean, with the Yo, ball, Greece is not making the Euro again. Just, just don't sleep on Slovenia. Their, their group is it. Armenia, Bosnia, we got, we got Finland, coming. Greece, Italy, and Liechtenstein. Yo, let's it. talk about Europa League. Arsenal and Napoli. Arsenal. No, if you want to talk about Europa League, let's talk about Slavia. <laughs> oh, my God. No, uh, Slavia is going to beat Chelsea. Mark my words. I said, Chelsea's, what episode Chelsea's is this? Going to the final. Do I need to stop place. seeing all these che- Chelsea fans. I'm not going to name names because people don't like getting called out in this podcast. But uh, Ooh, they I'll call them out. <laughs> if you want to stop posting on their story, winning five nothing, and posting their story yelling and shit. Like who? You guys are po- beating no name teams. You guys talking about Caduce. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Yeah, I have talking about him because why are you posting? Why are you gassing? Oh. Why are you gassing your shit ass team? You got a you got a dumpster fire of a team. Why are you gassing? Them? Can't be happy for the win. No, 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 no it's no, your no, point, no. man. As you say, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't care about Thursdays. Guys at the concert going crazy last night. <laughs> I forget even their soccer on Thursdays. <laughs> It's like when you turn on your phone, you're like, "Oh, your on." <laughs> All I'm gonna say you gotta be like Tosca sometimes. You don't, you don't post. You just gotta be happy, but you don't gotta tell the world that you're happy with uh, your league win, being a team five nothing. Hey, Amen. Yo, so do you guys want to talk about the the other matchups other than Chelsea and Slavia? Just the ones with that matter. Just the ones that matter. Yeah. The other like, three actually matter. Yeah. yeah. Arsenal, Napoli. <laughs> no, Arsenal, Napoli is big, man. That's hey, they big. matter. They you matter. know why? Because I think Arsenal so overrated. And I think they're going to lose, and I think they're going to come Case. fifth in EPL. Can they be why, you, why are you dissing em- 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 like that? How can they be overrated? They're not even, like... They're, they're rated. not rated. <laughs> you think they're going to come top four? I don't. Okay, but That's I'm not saying them. they're going to win the league. Like, if I was no. saying, oh, this team is 100% taking that third spot. Okay, maybe I'm overrating them a bit. You said, though, they're getting it. You're like, they're getting it. Yeah, him, Devin Tottenham are finishing. I don't think so. They're not overrated. Them, they're doing you, good. Why are you hating on Arsenal, man? They're doing good Arsenal's so far. A good they're team. doing good so far. I think they're overrated. So they, they, got, one of them. they got two great strikers. First, first season with the coach. They got one good so striker and one okay two, striker. They don't got two great strikers. Lacazette. Don't gas Lacazette. They got a decent midfield. They have a good, a great striker and one okay one. They have shaky back four. Very shaky, shaky back shaky. four. Shambles. 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 has to run that back four. Mustafi. Shout out my dog, Mustafi. Who's their keeper? Check still? No, Leno. Oh, Leno. My God. Leno. He's good. I think I think it's I think Arsenal has a good chance of winning the Europa League. Okay, let's talk about I actually don't think so because other matchups. Napoli versus Arsenal. Napoli versus Arsenal. I think Napoli's taking that. Big Martins. And then like we can say that though, and then like we, we always doubt the English teams, and they go in they go into Italy and smash them four nothing and Obama no, bangs I, three. I think Arsenal's taking this. I think Arsenal is going to be in the final versus Chelsea. That would be so no. sick. Uh, I, that's I, I think, I that's think a dream. That's my dream. I get, to see, I get to see more people get gassed about your Opal. Yeah, because Instagram. it will be like the two most gas fan bases going against <laughs> it for the second place trophy. Don't forget who their coach is. <laughs> It'll be your Europa League legend. Three. You're talking about Emery? Three Pete. Three Pete. Come on, Emery? Unai. Oh, yeah. Smash yeah. Liverpool. Yeah. Don't forget, this guy knows Europa League, man. He, he knows He's Europa League legend, but if Arsenal get through this and they're like 100% going to the final. And well, Chelsea's probably gonna go. No, no. Don't be sleeping on Benfica. Slavia don't be Arsenal. sleeping on Benfica. I'm, sli- I'm fucking sleeping Frankfurt, on Benfica. I'm sleeping Real, on them too. Frankfurt's Valencia. a nice team. Go, Frankfurt has a nice team. Make them sleep. Frankfurt's a nice. Slept on everyone. Who? You or me? <laughs> this guy's sleeping on his own team. <laughs> you, this Bro, guy, Frank, Frankfurt's super nice. Frankfurt's 100% winning the league. That's a, that's a Listen, fact. Listen, the league's not over. The league's not over to the last day. It's not over to a fat lady sings. You said they win the league and you said they would beat Tom. So when are you gonna start singing? Who, two stupid ass statements from Anthony Center. Why are you hating on Dortmund, man? Two stupid ass statements. Why are you hating statements? at the boys in yellow? The, the boys in yellow. They're just it's not, not as good as you they're say. Back. They're good, man. Do you they're, see what you see? What Tottenham did? The second best team in Germany. Yeah, no, you know the Simeone celebration. You know this one? The, that's what Tottenham did. That's what Tottenham <laughs> did to Dortmund. The only difference between uh, Dortmund and Bayern was was uh, Liverpool scored an own goal. <laughs> Facts. Exactly. It's a terrible season. This guy's capping. English football is English football is nice. <laughs> what? What is what? The what? No, I was just thinking about like this is the first time in a while that English football has been up like this. No, been, what? They just lose. What are you talking about? No, no, because, no, that's what I mean. Like because, in, uh, in Europe, they've been doing good. When was the last time English football has been doing this well? Um, Twelve years um, ago. <laughs> no, back, Chelsea. Back, back when you were just an NFL fan. Chelsea. Yeah, it's because that's great. Because the Liga dominated for a while, like in the Champions League. And now it's now it's because Tiki Taka football came out, and then everyone learned how to play Tiki Taka. But, like they gave Man City a bunch of heart, like. They screwed him over oh like many God. years in a row. Shut up, up man. Got that era money. There's a reason why we booed the, the song. Shut <laughs> up. Uh, I really believe that. I, I'm picking Arsenal, though, for back on that. Is there anybody else Valencia. Valencia. Anybody else I can call out over stupid shit that I see? I think Chelsea's going to win Europa, though. I think so. I, uh, I hope so. You know why? So we can see them get to dominated in Champions but League next year. If... Uh, 
doggy style. <laughs> if an uh, English team wins Europa and an English team wins Champions League, that four spot's gone. Wait, what'd you say? If an English team wins... If an English team wins... I'm pretty sure. If an English team wins yeah. Europa yeah. and Champions League... I want to search, want to search it up. The, oh, like the, the four spot disappears for them? The four spot is gone in England like, for this year. For, for this year. So then it would only be City, you can't, have, you can't have... Uh, like, like you can't have uh, the top Five four, teams. and then I, I. No, it, it's only if Chelsea wins the Europa League because you'll have five teams in Champions League. Yeah. So if Chelsea wins the Europa League or Arsenal wins the Europa League and they finish outside the top four, then the fourth spot's gone because they're technically the fourth team. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, look at when Arsenal. You're saying that could be bad. For oh, because they won Champions League. Because they won Europa League, so you have a guaranteed no, spot. No, because Man Champions United League. won Europa League. And they went to Champions League. Yeah, but was the fourth spot gone, though? I don't think so. No, but they were already in the Champions League is what I'm saying. If, if you get into the Champions League and you're not in the top four, yeah. then the fourth spot's gone. Because you can only no, have I'm four teams did, in Champions League. Did that happen last time? Because Man United didn't come top four the year they Yeah, they, they did. Won. They came second. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I was just saying that could be bad for, say, Tottenham. Or, say, uh Who's Arsenal. last team? What, what's last English team to win in Europe? Was it United? Uh, what do you mean? To or Arsenal? Was it Arsenal? To win it or to play it? To win in it. United. To win it. Yeah, it was United. United? Okay, then, yeah. Was, uh, what, like last year? Two, yeah. yeah, okay. Right. Two years. No, I thought it was the year they didn't was, I think it was Jose's first year. It was yeah. his first year because he won two trophies that year. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and Klopp still won zero at Liverpool and they keep on overrating him. He's not overrated. <laughs> He's making some questionable substitutions lately. I keep saying I don't that. know what's going on with Shakiri. Shakiri hasn't played since January. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I told you, FIFA's getting back in him. I'm just going to tell you that they don't want him to play. Who Shakiri? Yeah, none of those guys. Things been playing. Bobby Lichtensteiner. None of those guys are playing. Things, things been playing though. Who got Arsenal? Shaka. Shaka. Yeah, but they have to, he has to play though. Did he? Did he throw up the bird or no? Yes, they all did. He's actually Jack been Jack in that game. Yeah, but Lichtensteiner threw it up. He's not. He's not even Albanian, is he? No. He, he just he threw was, it up just to was, throw it up. He was riding for his dogs. That's what he was doing. He's a supporter. But you know what I don't understand? How are you gonna have pride for those guys when they were too embarrassed to play for your country? Because I would do the same thing. Well, what the hell? I want to go play. I want to limit myself. Yeah, but man, it's like Jamaican fans being proud of Sterling. Well, okay, chill, chill, chill. You could be proud of a like he moved there. He still he's still respects Jamaican, and he still and he still he still <laughs> he, he shouts him out, you know. So I respect him. Whoa! So a shout he's a traitor. A shout out is that. worth oh. playing for your country now. No, but why would he play for Jamaica when he has opportunity to play for England? So, he's respecting so, his roots. So, I, I respect that. He's respecting why would he ever do that? So if, Ren- if Ronaldo point. went and played for Spain, yeah. And then he, he won. That's completely different. That's, Portugal, that's, 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 Portugal is Spain a... Spain and Portugal t- to Jamaica and England. Are you comparing exactly. Portugal to Jamaica right now? See, yo, you're telling me that if... if Ronaldo played for Spain, he'd already be the greatest player ever. On God. <laughs> but anyways, that, that's the side point. So you're telling me if Mohamed Salah yeah. went and played for... I'll say Italy because he spent a lot of time in Rome yeah. in, in his early years. I rate it. And then he started giving shout-outs to Egypt. You think Egypt would still rate him like that? Yeah. He doesn't even rate Egypt because they've been using him as a fucking political. I don't even want to get into that because I'm bringing bear shit. But they've been using him as a political figure and it's been pissing him off. That's I know. Why dude, that's also why he's been doing a ton so of they, commercials they, with Pepsi and shit. Yeah. Like, what is that team playing for? Like, Who, Egypt? They a, yeah, they have a couple good players, but like. Exactly. You can't blame him. Like, it's not like it's not like Sterling grew up in Jamaica until he was twenty five, like twenty, and then went. Like he was in England from a teenager. I'm pretty sure, maybe no, even no, younger. younger. So. That doesn't matter, but he respects us. He's he's Jamaican. Their guy's winning a Euro. He's, it's not like he's, he's winning a Euro talk, in two years. Talking shit about Jamaica. He's talking shit about Jamaica. If he would, if he played different. for Jamaica still, they'd be. Bro, listen, they'd, they'd be. They'd let me tell you guys about. Let me let me tell you about Copa America 2016. Let me tell you about. Let me tell you about Copa America 2016, where Jamaica lost all three games, <laughs> but we lost one nothing to Argentina, one nothing to Colombia, and one nothing to I think it was like uh, Bolivia or some random team. Just take that in against Messi, Di Maria. Higuain, all those guys, one nothing. Dybala, oh my gosh. Aguero. Just put some respect on my team for once. That's all I'm going to say. Had Wes Morgan back there. Wes Morgan is the first Jamaican player to score a Champions League goal. Just guy actually scored a goal uh, this weekend. He scored the winner. Just, just put, there were some good games. Guy captained a, uh, he captained a, he captained a EPL winning squad. I just want to put more respect. Put, you're, you're making me. He, 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 he captained the team that lost to a 10 man Canada 2 0 after Alfonso oh. Davies kicked someone in the face. I know. What a beast. Was he, on the, was he at that game? Who? I watched Davies? that shit live. Are you crazy? That was right in front yeah. of me in the corner. Davies got subbed in, played four minutes, kicked someone in the face, and got a red card for What's the final the 15. What game did I go to? 
I don't know if you were there. Yeah. Was it the same one? Yeah, I did. Yeah, probably, no, no, because yeah. that one was uh, yeah. Thing's cousin, no? Yeah. yeah. There's so many Jamaican shout out fans cousin. there. Were there? Yeah, yeah there's a lot of fans. Uh, I guess you, should, you want to talk about uh, CPL? <laughs> shout out York 9. Shout out my Honestly. dog, Emilio Estevez. Dog, that's a new big thing. Um, oh, God. Big thing's coming. Uh, don't get me started on TFC. What? They're undefeated. Bro, Two I don't, games, man. And you gotta wait. You play some better teams, man. Play some better competition. You gotta wait. Okay, I, wait. I'm not saying we're gonna win the league, but I'm just saying. No, you, I you, get, you, you and Tasso. Let me say this: Max, Max, and Tasso. When they, when TFC gets a three-game winning streak, these guys are, are, I can't even like explain. I can't use a word to describe the giddiness these guys get when they go to the game, like. All TFC fans do. No, this. I think Tasso gets more giddy than this guy. Oh, this guy too. He's he just no, he's no, no, on the no, lows. No, no. He'll, he'll well, tell you. Tasso, will, Tasso gets more giddy because he can't really get giddy about Chelsea right this now. This guy will this guy will message you and go, Cavani coming to TFC. It's official. We're too good <laughs> champions. That's what he'll say back to back. Last year when I'm telling them, Yo, relax. We're not good. We're going to shut up. Shut up. We're not. We're, just just stop. We're going to the final. Yeah, but that's what all TFC fans said. No, this year. Look, yeah. two games. Look what he says. Are we gonna talk yeah, about yeah, TFC? Yeah, Altador, that celebration though. This guy's hyped for this year. This guy's having a city. big year. This guy's having a big year. Until he's throwing up on the field again because he's unfit. Even Bradley having big years. <laughs> and we haven't even got our the new guy yet, Pazulo. Yeah, he's coming like at the end or of the season. Or Charisma. I don't well, know. That's that, fake. That's fake. He, he will put in. He'll put in thirty. He he would. This guy would ping crosses to Altador's head. Ping them. But <laughs> I, guys, Altador would stay outside the whole game, and Charisma just ping them in. Just get big John Terry back there defending that back line. Shut what up. are you saying? We have a Mavinga. He's better. <laughs> we have a Drew Moore, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> or Jill. Anyways, uh, <laughs> call that a wrap. Yeah. Okay, that was episode 20 of the Forget Numbers podcast. Don't forget to follow us on, on Instagram at FTN Network, as well as our Patreon page, uh, patreon.com slash FTN podcast. Uh, we'll be back next week, so everybody enjoy the rest of your week. Yeah.